you'd like to swim fast. You may be able to swim faster than these guys. They can row fast, but I don't know how fast they can swim. Uh, so swimming fast is another thing that we're happy to teach you here at Swim On. <laughs> All right, this is uh, where they start out their race. You can see the athletes are out there in the water, just kind of lined up. Uh, pretty soon they'll put up like the starting block, kind of as a gate uh, that touches the, the far end of the boat so they can all line up at the same spot. And then they have somebody on deck holding the boat in place just so the wind doesn't blow them. And it uh, keeps them right at the exact spot they're supposed to start. Anyways, the athletes will start here and they will row to the other side of the lake 2,000 meters away. So we'll try to run down there and uh, catch them here on the other end. This is the men's single. All right guys, so we just saw the men's single come in. It was the semi-final race. Tomorrow will be the finals for them. And uh, we were able to catch them at the start of the race and then mid-course and then as they cross the finish line here at the finish tower. So uh, Kind of cool to capture an entire race for you beginning to end i mean we didn't catch every piece but see the beginning middle and end kind of fun anyways you know to be out in the water like this and do an awesome sport like this you kind of need to be comfortable in the water and so that's what we do at swim on we help people get comfortable in the water and then you can push yourself in new ways maybe like rowing earlier this year in february i made it to the world championship indoor rowing competition in paris france uh, definitely was not an olympian there there were lots of Olympians, but I wasn't one of them. I was an age grouper, uh, but you know, still, it was a lot of fun. Got to meet some new people, uh, push myself in a new sport for me, and came in 34th, so I'm not complaining about that. And hey, going to Paris was pretty cool. So one cool thing about learning about getting in the water and swimming is it opens you up to new sports, new activities, and things that can just keep life fun and interesting. Swimming, you can do forever. Running and biking, you can get better by just pushing yourself in the water. Swimming and rowing, you can get better by pushing yourself, but you're only gonna become the best by working on your technique. And learning that technique takes a coach. You just don't, you just can't just like pick it up, right? You need somebody who can look at your stroke, analyze your stroke and perfect it. But it all starts back at the very basics in the beginning of understanding more than just the physical part, but more the physics part of how to move yourself through the water. So these rowers are moving at this speed, not just because they're physically fit, but because they know the mechanics and the physics of how to move them, their boat, and their oar all through the water in a certain rhythm, using the most force against the water as they move through the water to propel them forward. So there's a race ending right here. It looks like the women's doubles. Yes coming in right now. You probably see him cross the finish line. So get out, get your swim on. All right, guys, well, that is the end of the day here at the Olympic trials for the semifinals. Tomorrow they're going to the finals. So hopefully we'll be back tomorrow. We'll bring you a little more content, but you know, I realize this is not swimming. Okay, but a lot of the same principles of swimming apply to rowing. And that is, you can be really strong, but you need the right technique, right? So how does that apply to swimming? The right technique is your position of your body in the water, the position of your head, your back, and your legs. And then also the technique of how do you use your paddle, your oar, your arm, right? Same thing for these rowers, super strong, but also they understand the physics of rowing, how to keep their boat at a nice, you know, streamlined position, how to move their paddle efficiently through the water, how not to have drag when they come back out of the water. And so the same thing that applies to them applies to swimming. To get better and to get faster, it's not just the force you put into your arm, it's how much force translates from your arm to the water to move you faster. So, to get faster in the water, get smarter on how you use your paddle, your oar, your arm. Take care, get your swim on. We'll see you later on.